Welcome everybody. This is a demonstration of the Multi Emulator Super System MESS together with the TI-994A and the Graham Cracker system. So here is the Graham Cracker. I don't have the system myself, but one of my family members has one. Uh, I never play around with it, uh, to be honest, but uh, now we can uh, emulate it into the MESS system. So I was curious from, okay, how can we use it? Because I have a disk with some Graham Cracker files and how can I actually load those files into the system? At this webpage, themainbyte.com, uh, you can find more information about the hardware. So you see that here. Um, the Graham Cracker is here inserted into the TI-994A and notice there is a module slot as well. And the idea is to read out all the contents of the module and then copy it to a disk system. And the disk system is typically uh, inserted at the right side of the TI. And that can be a nano PEP or a whole complete PEP peripheral expansion box system. The front of the Graham Cracker has some switches. So loader on and off means the Graham Cracker is on or off. Then there is a switch which has three positions, bank one, right protect, and bank two. And those switches we need to emulate it or simulate it into the mesh system because we don't have the hardware. More screenshots over here, the internals of the Graham Cracker, and at the bottom is the complete manual of the Graham Cracker. At the second page here of Ninerpedia is how you actually use the Graham Cracker in the MESS system. So it's a good uh, write-up, um, otherwise I also could not figure it out. So here um, are some comment line prompts. We're not going to make use of the comment line prompts. We're going to make use of the graphical interface, which we'll see here. But if you want to read more about how to uh, copy a module onto a disk or how you want to load a disk, they can actually go to this uh, very good uh, description here. Okay, so let's go to the system. So the system I'm using here is Windows 7. Um, the emulator version is 0 0.157. Um, so there are two components. The mess is actually that command line type of uh, setup. And I'm uh, using additionally QMC2, uh, which is the GUI, the graphical user interface. So in one of the other videos I've shown you, how we can actually set up all those different uh, Texas instrument systems. The one I'm using here is the TI-994A, the European version. Um, okay, so it looks like this, like the silver black version or uh, the beige version. Then we can go to the devices. Um, in the slot options here, you can see in the Grom port, we have actually a Graham Cracker uh, inserted. Now before this Graham Cracker will work, we actually need to have a file in our mail mess system here in the ROMs directory and that file is called ti99 underscore jcracker.zip and that zip file contains a file called jcracker.binary and it's important that the zip file exists otherwise your system will not work all right so let's go back so that is that gram cracker um, option Furthermore, you probably require the 32K memory, so that needs to be enabled. Speed synthesizer for the modules which require speeds. And here is the floppy disk uh, controller, uh, because I have some disks with some Graham Cracker files on it, so I want to load them into the Graham Cracker. So let's start the system here. I do it in play embedded mode, so that we can see everything over here. Oh, before I go to the play embedded mode, here in the uh, device mappings, what I did, I inserted two floppy disks already. So floppy disk one and two. One is a Gram EA disk and a Gram A1 disk, which I uh, have. And the contents, you can see that here. So I make use of uh, Fred Carl's TI DIR uh, tool. So I can actually see the contents of the disks. So the first disk I'm going to use is the Gram EA disk. That is an uh, editor assembler. I'm going to load these files, the AE6, so that are multiple files. And the other disk is having a single file. This is the Gram A1 disk, and I'm going to load this single uh, file as well. Okay, so that's how the disk has been uh, configured. So let's start it. I do play embedded mode. I enter OK. And we get here our uh, Texas. And here is an option called Gram Cracker. So I don't see the TBUS option because the loader is in on mode. If the loader is off, you will see the TBUS, the TI basic mode. 
Here it is, the gram cracker. Typically we need to initialize the module space so that we can load all the other modules from the disk. So we press here number 3. Now because um, we need to enable the bank 1, which is done by the hardware using the switch, um, you need to enable that uh, via the soft switch built into the mesh system. Now to do that, uh, you require the scroller key, which I don't have on my keyboard here. So that's why I make use of an on-screen keyboard. So I press scroll lock. So you'll see here that the keyboard emulation is enabled. Partially, we can press the top key. And now with the top key, we can select the dip switches over here. And we go to the switch 4 and we select bank 1. Bank 1, return to the previous menu, press enter. Return to the system, press enter. Now we need to enable bank 2. So that is the same method. Press the top key again. We go to the dip switches. We go back to switch number 4. And now we select with the right arrow bank 2. Return the previous menu. Return to the system. Okay. Restore right protect. Same thing again. Press the top, dip switches, right protect. Return to the system. Okay, and we're here. Now we're going to load one of those modules. So we're going to select uh, one load module. So we need to enter the disk. Uh, maybe the easiest is first to load uh, disk number two, which was a single file, which was on the gram A1 disk. So we do that here, disk two. The file name was called addition. We saw that earlier on in the directory of that disk so it is loading the disk now and the file on the disk and it says again enable bank 1 so we press the tab again go to the dip switches bank 1 spacebar restore the right protect I protect all right so now it goes back to the gram cracker module module so we press now um, quit or function um, 9 so that on my keyboard is alt 9 and if I do that and I go to the screen now I see a second option here which is Milliken which is that um, addition uh, file we loaded from the gram cracker file so we press number two to wait for a while it's loading something from disk I believe loading the directory but you can see that the module is working already and this in this case is called number readiness sequence okay now let's try to load the gram editor assembler file so I do a quit go back here I go to my gram cracker first I need to initialize the module space again so enable bank one spacebar enable bank two spacebar restore the right protect spacebar okay now load the module um, remember what the file name was, which was over here. So we're going to load this file, which is editor assembler 6 with the slash. Go back to the mesh system. So we enter here disk 1 EA6 forward slash. Enter. It's loading it. Enable bank 2. So we go back to this manual again. Bank 2, spacebar, enable bank 1, okay, loading, and now it is loading those additional files which we saw on the disk as well, because this module exists out of multiple ROMs and GROMs, so we can see that uh, here, so what it is doing, it is loading all these additional files as well. OK, 
Okay, loading. Restore the right protect. Okay. Let's see if I can get this to work again. Okay. Sometimes it uh, doesn't um, operate properly. Right protect. Uh, probably that's because of my remote desktop connection. Okay, return, press the spacebar. Now we do a quit. And now we have all the editor assembler options here uh, as well. So I can press number four or one of the other ones. But here we see an other version of editor assembler and we can go back to the graham cracker here as well. Okay, so I hope with this demo you get a better idea how you can uh, make use of the graham cracker. It is also possible um, over here uh, maybe to save a module but in my view that doesn't make much sense to do that in a mesh emulator because if you want to save a module that means you already have the module on your PC system but you can do that um, so the cartridge is not loaded so we did not have any cartridge in our system so I can actually click here cartridge I need to go to the right side I can select here the directory uh, let me see if I have one of those modules here um, in the mesh system let me see yeah here I have an example a uh, Munchman version 2 an RPK module I select this one press open okay so now the module is inside the TI system um, I probably need to reset it I'm not sure if that is done dynamically let me see no, it's not done dynamically, so we don't see the Munchman module uh, over here. Um, let me first save this configuration. So I select my profile here, TI99GK, Graham Cracker, and I save it here to the disk. Let me get out of the system here. So I remove this, this window and I restart it again. So I inserted the module, Munchman version 2, into the Graham Cracker. So you see that here in the TI screen that there are two options. Let's press 1 for Graham Cracker and see if we can save that module. So we're going to go to press number 2, save, restore the right protect. So we go back to the dip switch, right protect, OK. Spacebar. Now we first need to put our system in full mode. So I need to turn off the scroll lock. So now it's in full emulation mode. And now we save the disk, the S, OK. Two, I'm using that and then minus two. So it's going to save it to disk two. There need to be enough space on your disk drive on your disk. Okay. So it has been saved apparently. Uh, let's verify that. So we go to the TID tool of Fred Kao going to this disk and you see there is now a file called munch2 okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the original configuration here I remove this uh, file here so I'm going to use uh, this te99gk uh, configuration file Play embedded Okay, that doesn't work. I need to close this first. Okay, go back to the mesh system to verify if the file is working. Uh, use this one, play embedded. Okay. So we no, don't have the Munchman option here. Uh, so we do number one first. Initialize module space. Yeah, it doesn't work all the time. Okay, partial emulation mode. Tap, dip switch, uh, bank one. Bank two. Right. Alright, so we're back in the initial module space. Now we're going to load the module, um, which is uh, 
minus 2. Oh, so it will be disk 2. Loading the file. Alright, so put it back in full, full emulation mode over here. And now we have Munchman 2 here as an option, while the module is not loaded into the Gram Cracker. So press number 2, and there it is. The monster is back. Okay, thank you for watching.